Hello friends, welcome to Pradeep's tutorial. My name is Pradeep and today what we are going to see is public static void main. I know this is a very simple question. But when you enter in an interview hall and interview will ask you how much you will rate yourself in Java and you will tell something 7 or 8 out of 10 and then you will get a question like public static void main, what it, what it is. And if you are not prepared well, if you are not confident, you'll definitely get nervous and you'll not able to answer this. So preparation is important. Make sure you prepared well before entering to any interview. So let's see what is public static word mean. In Java programming, the point from where the program starts its execution or simply the entry point of Java program is a main method. It is one of the most important method of Java and having proper understanding of it is very important. So when you'll get this question, you'll write a simple code here. Let's see what code you'll write. I'm very much sure you'll write and you'll print something. Hello Java. And it will print for you. But then the actual questions will come. What is public here? Why written type is void? Can we change the return type of main method? What do you mean by static? Can we use two main method in one class? Can we rename main method to something else? And what is string args? Probably there will be more questions here. And if you have something in your mind, you can put it in a comment section. So let's see what exactly the answer for all these questions here. So let's start with the public. What is public? Public is an access modifier which specifies from where and who can access the method. Making the main method public make it, make it globally available. So public is access modifier means there are few more access modifier like private, protected, default. Default is when you are not mentioning anything that time it is default. So now in main method can we use something other than public? Can we make it private? Let's see writing a simple code here. So what I have written here, I have just changed public to private. And now if I try to execute this, it will give me an output with error. It will not get the actual output. So error is main method not found in class. Please define main method as public static part. It will tell you exactly what is the problem here. So it is clear it should be a public and public here is a access modifier. So sometimes you will get few more questions from this access modifier or sometimes the interviewer can continue with this. So let, let's see what is next question. Word return type. This is actually a return type. It's a keyword used to specify that method doesn't return anything. Main method will not return anything. Main method is just to execute. It's a starting point. So writing a return type, it will give an error. So let's see a simple code again. I've just kept one return type here. And if I tried, and I've mentioned here instead of void, I mentioned int. And now if I execute this, it will give me an error again. Main method not found in class. Please define main method as public static void main. So you cannot define something else. Like you cannot change the return type. It will be always void. Let's move to the next question. What is static? Static for static actually there will be different sections required. For, but here we will just go to the summary. What is static here? The main method is static so that JVM can invoke it without instantiating the class. Let's write a simple code here. I just removed static from here. And now if I execute what error I will get. Let's see. Main method is not static in class. Please define the main method. Public static void main. You have to again, it's telling you have to mention static here. Static is something at available at the class level. No, no need to create any object. No need to call from object. 
as it is a static it will be available at the class level so you can learn static mode you can there will be a lot of tutorials even i'll post some so you can understand from there now move to the next question multiple main method in class this is a very important question can we have multiple main method in a class just i am pausing for a few second just think about is it possible to write multiple main method the answer is yes we can overload main method but we cannot overwrite it so we can have many main method in a class let's see one example here this is a class test and i have two main methods with different arguments one with the string array and one is the integer array as i said override is not possible overloading is possible so that's why i just changed the argument and i tried to run it what is the output you can think will it give you a compilation error or it will simply execute it will execute and it will ignore the second one and it will print the first main method let's see the output output will be main method string array which is written in the first main method hope this is clear so you can write it but it will ignore the other one let's see the next question here rename main method so can we rename main method actually it is identifier that jvm looks for as the starting point of the java program so if we rename it how jvm will identify from where to start the execution let's see the example i just simply change the main method name here okay and now if i try to execute i will not able to execute it so no output is here so this is not possible let's move to the next question string args is a array actually it stores java command line argument and is an array of type java lang string class here the name of the string array is args but it is not fixed and user can use any name in place of it so you can put something different here that is fine you can put arg args names anything you can put and you you have to pass when you are running the code so suppose you have provided two or three string arrays now when you want to run it you can simply check this code you can run it it will run for you so that's all from for this session if you have any questions still you can put in the comment section i will definitely try to reply on those i'll answer those but i am very much sure people will definitely people are very proactive they will definitely reply on your questions and it will be good for all of you those who are learning java those who are preparing for java interview if you put the comments here probably from your comments someone else can learn so just keep posting and please subscribe thanks for watching and have a nice day meet again thank you